Hi, hello, wanna come and welcome back to another episode on your favorite Little Slaw YouTube channel. So today in this video we are going to cover a lot of interesting topics in terms of K6 performance testing. So let me uh, break the agenda of this video. So firstly we are going to see how to execute or how to run a API Lotus. So this part is going to I mean in this video I'm going to let you know how to test a API and next to it I'm going to show you how to do a ramp up a steady state and a ramp down uh, like any other tools uh, for example if you take a load runner or if you take a J meter or if you take a neo load so in all those tools we have the option of ramping up the users where we increase or where we introduce the users one by one into the system and then we do a steady state and then finally we do a ramp down so same way we are going to see how to do that in stages and as i told you we are going to test test a api function and then the another interesting factor is after running all these uh, usually we get this result in the partial window or the command line window in a very boring format so in this video i will show you how to get the results in a GUI mode in a in HTML format say for example like you, you must have seen in neo load or you must have seen in JMeter where we get the HTML report so today we are going to see all these process in this video and before we move on to this video this is me your wasan shamnugam I welcome you all to our little slide YouTube channel please don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you have not subscribed yet like the video share the video with your friends and comment if you have any questions and feedback in the comment section so firstly, let me uh, break this code for you. So the first two lines are the import where they import the necessary functions from the K6 library and the HTTP module is used to send HTTP request while the check and the group functions are used for assertions and grouping requests. And next comes the options. So the options object default finds the test configuration and it specifies the load profile for the test with different stages so here you can see we have got three different stages so in this case it starts with three virtual users and it ramps up to four virtual users and then ramps down to zero users over 0.5 minutes each so here you can see we have given the duration of the first stage which is which starts with three users and then again another duration of 0.5 minutes where we ramp up to four virtual users and then finally we ramp down up to zero users over 0.5 minutes each and then the third part of this code is the functions where we have the functions part so the default function here which is in line 12 is the main test function that k6 will execute and inside this function we have two group so one is this the group on which starts in line 13 and the other group which starts in line 21 so two group blocks are used to group related HTTP requests together for clarity and organization and the first group blocks or the first group block checks the uptime of API so here you can see the API uptime check by sending an HTTP GET request to retrieve the to do's from the specified URL which I have given here and it, it then checks if the response status code is 200 so here you can see so we are checking the API uptime for this URL and the response code should be 200 and so that's the first group and then when it comes to the second group it's it is used for creating a new to do item and it sends an HTTP request so it's a post request it sends a post request with JSON payload containing a task to the specified URL then it extracts the ID of so here you can see it extracts the ID of the newly created to do from the response and checks if the status code is 200 that's the first check because if it comes as 200 only then we can confirm that it's a valid request and then if the to do is marked as incomplete so here you can see the response should have created to do which is should be like the completed should be false which means it should be incomplete so overall this script simulates a load on the specified API by gradually increasing and decreasing the number of virtual users while also performing checks to ensure the API response correctly and creates to do's as expected. So now let's navigate to the folder and we will run this script. So let me go to the partial and cd trial. 
and then k6 so now we are in the folder and the command to run this test is k6 run and create to do http js so as i have told you the test will run so here you can see the ramp up uh, time so initially it starts with one user and then slowly after a few uh, minutes of time it will ramp up to the second user so, and meanwhile you can see the number of requests that's been completed so far and once there is another user the number of requests has started very quick so we have got now two out of four users and there are like zero interpret interactions and let's wait for okay so now again the third user also have logged into the system and we have already crossed 36 seconds during this test let's wait for a few more seconds to get this test completed and before that let's go through the scenario so here we have got one scenario with four maximum visual users and two minutes zero seconds is the maximum duration of this test which includes the graceful stop which is the ramp down and then the default which is up to four looping visual users for one minute over three stages so which i have showed you previously the stage which is the first stage which is the target of four, three and then the target four and then the target of zero so these are the three stages which i have given here and then the graceful ramp down will take around 30 seconds and then the graceful stop will take around 30 seconds and now we can see uh, we have got three users and the test is completed and here you can see uh, we have got the status code should be 200 yes for so both the api request has been checked so both of the requests has been verified and the response should have created to do so everything works fine so now the second part so now the second part is we are going to use the app.k6.io to create a similar kind of so for example i have did a previous test where i could see the graph for this report so now so you're going to use or you're going to log into this application which will help you to create the html report for the test that we're going to run and for that what you're going to do is once you log in to this https app k6.io you'll have to click on this under your name and then under this you can see the api token and copy this token and once you copy come back to the partial so here you have to first log in so you have to first log in so that's the way you're going to connect your uh, command window or your partial to your uh, cloud api the uh, i mean the cloud application through the api so for that i'm going to paste the url so i have already got the command so it's just k6 login cloud minus minus token and then i'm going to paste the token here let me get the token so now i have got the token and when i click enter here you can see the login is successful and the token is saved in the location so now this means that we have logged in successfully and now what i'm going to do is so the next thing is i'm going to run the test and for running that i'm going to use again the same thing a similar one which is k6 run which we all do for our test and after that i'm going to use minus minus out and then the cloud so this will actually run the test in the cloud and then i'm going to use the file in the create to do http echoes.js and i've started the test and let's now go to the application and here you can see the test is running okay it's, it's actually setting up the test it's doing some validation let's wait for a few seconds to see the tests to get started so yeah now we can see the test has started running and now when you click on this so you can see we have got one visual user we have got uh, 10 request rate and then the response time is 153 milliseconds the failure request rate is zero seconds so this actually in fact this is not going to be a big difference from what you get in the command line window but the way we present 
to the stakeholders is very important so here you can see we have got a beautiful uh, window a beautiful screen which takes us through the uh, the number of requests the response times the number of active visual users the request made. so this will actually in fact give us a clear idea on how does the applications work or how does the application work with the user load and here you can see we have got four virtual users the remaining time the countdown time and the total um, the duration of the test and then how many virtual users we have and is that a local execution or a remote execution and who exactly has started the test so we, we can see everything in this uh, particular uh, window and if you go to configure okay i think it, this is not part of this so let's go back to the screen and if you click on it in fact you can share this test results so when you click on the share test results you can get this link and you can even paste it in a window and we can get this test results okay i think it's not yet loaded and then there are, there are like various other possibilities so we can actually set this data as a baseline and in fact we can generate a pdf summary of the result and you can clearly see so this is how the test goes and just i mean like do a comparison of this result i mean the numbers and uh, this one so the one that we see in the uh, k6 uh, window the io the app.k6.io so it actually gives us a clear idea on what is happening and in fact it's like more eye catching and you can even anybody who just walks through the uh, graph or the through the results they can easily understand how does it work so that's the reason again Again, you can see uh, we have got the uh, result of this test. So, in fact, this actually will reduce a lot of your workload. You can just go through it and just select whatever you need. And if you want, if you do not want any of these particular sections, you can remove them. And then once you click it, the section which you do not need is removed. And if you want to add any section, you can add them. So again, these are the default sections which we have. So only you can uh, do all these changes within these particular sections and if you want to generate a PDF you can generate a PDF out of it and that would be very easy so just run the test create a PDF share it with the stakeholders and yeah that's done for you so and uh, let's see other, other options as well so you, if you want you can export the data uh, whatever data that we want in a CSV format and then uh, we can share the test results which we already see and then we can set this value as a baseline so we all know what's a baseline so baseline is something like an SLA a service level agreement where if you set this value as the baseline so anything that crosses this value will be considered as a failure and everything that comes uh, that that is less than this baseline is considered as a pass so in that way you can even set this as a baseline and we have we can even save the test results and you can create a note so we have got like multiple options and then even you can compare this test with the previous test that we have executed so in this way you can understand so for example like if you see uh, this is the baseline that test that's been run at 938 and we have got another test that's been executed at 1853 which is around like six around seven o'clock and you can see the there were like successful check like 2.8 thousand checks and in the later test it's like 3.1 and the number of requests made has been increased i mean like uh, that's a difference in the number of requests made and then the average response times the average rate per second has been there's a difference and you can see the response times also there's a huge difference so in this way you can start doing your comparison with the previous test because it's not just about running one test because there are like various factors that might be a reason for the change in the response time so you have to bring in everything you have to bring add more data to your results and that will add more value to your results and i think uh, these are the other options we have and apart from that okay we will see uh, some other time like uh, what are the options we have in this window and in fact we have got another window as well um, where we have got the k6 uh, testing where which is actually a move to the grafana and in fact this is more powerful window and in fact we will see how does it work in in our later videos so until i meet you in uh, another interesting video like this it's bye bye from Mugam and little slaw